13 Hours is directed by Michael Bay and is inspired by the true story of some soldiers who took a stand in Benghazi when they had no idea what was going on. They had unclear orders and they were there trying to protect this American base under incredible duress from an enemy that was overwhelming them. But really quick, please stay tuned for the end of this video because I want to tell you about something really cool I'm doing with Loot Crate this month and I'm excited to tell you about the sponsorship that I'm running with them. 13 Hours for me is a movie that I really wasn't sure what to expect. I went into this movie, I was like, it's January, which is kind of like the cinematic wasteland of the year, and it's directed by Michael Bay, and it's being released with little to no fanfare, which is very rare for a film directed by Michael Bay. Having seen the film, I can say that Michael Bay has made his most mature movie since... ever. This is the third time Michael Bay has attempted to reenact a true story. He did it once with Pearl Harbor. He did it again with Pain and Gain. I personally did not like either of those movies. He has a hard time striking a balance between fun entertainment for everyone and actually telling a true story and honoring that story. With 13 hours, I think for the very first time, he's actually found that balance. There's tons of things that you would expect in a movie like this. There's a lot of explosions, there is slow motion, and low angle shots of people walking around in the high saturated colors. You expect all of those things in a Michael Bay movie. What I appreciate about this movie is that it really does honor and respect its subjects, these men who were fighting for these people's survival and their own survival. One thing this movie will probably be criticized a lot for is that it doesn't attempt ever to involve itself in the politics of the situation. The motivation of the attackers of this base completely unclear. We don't understand what's going on. Politics are rarely ever discussed in this film. And for some people, that might be a problem. For me, I don't think it is. And I'll tell you why. I think Michael Bay is trying to make us, the audience, feel as if we are the soldiers in this moment. Because in this singular moment of these soldiers' lives, the worst night of their entire life, they don't understand what's going on either. They're unclear as to what's happening. They're just trying to survive in a hellish, terrible situation. So I think the screenwriter and Bay made the wise choice there to really limit our information because the information that the men involved with the situation got was also extremely limited. This is not a perfect movie. It's not a great movie. It is a better film than most Michael Bay films, and it's definitely a better film than most January films. My issues with this movie are its first hour, for one. I'm gonna be honest, I almost fell asleep. It's rough. It's a lot of characters setting up, and it's all just the same standard stuff you've seen. Guy has a baby at home, wife's pregnant. As soon as the battle starts, the movie is relentless until its conclusion. But that first hour was tough. And as I said, the film develops these characters in the most standard ways you could possibly expect. So you never really grow to be attached to these characters. You respect the story, and you respect what's being depicted. So I personally didn't feel like I had a connection with these characters, which was disappointing because the film is trying so hard to make you care. There's a lot of shakiness at times. It's a little too shaky. It's not overdone, though, but it's definitely there, especially in that first hour. There were a lot of parts where I was like, Okay, that's a lot of shaky and cutting, oh boy. And that's not an exaggeration, I did that quite often because the film just cuts a lot and it's very shaky. But surprisingly enough, in the long run, I think Bay was actually able to create a movie that does honor the men and women who were involved in this conflict, as well as not making it so overblown with Michael Bayisms to the point where the film just deflates and you're watching a movie that is clearly fake. The movie does feel fairly authentic, and for that reason, I'm gonna give 13 Hours a B minus. It's Michael Bay's best movie in a long time, and between this and The Forest, January so far hasn't been that bad, strangely. So guys, as I said earlier, Loot Crate. Thank you very much to them for sponsoring my videos. They are doing a new crate that I'm very excited about because I love science fiction. It includes a lot of items from the X-Files as well as Alien. Lots of really cool stuff. The Fifth Element, Space Invaders. It's the Invasion Crate, and it's going to be sent out to people who enjoy opening a cool box of awesome sci-fi goodies. If you guys go to LootCrate.com slash Chris Stuckman and use the coupon code Chris when you check out, you can get 10% off a new subscription you have until January 19th at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to subscribe. Thank you to Loot Crate once again. I hope you guys check that out. I'm excited to get that crate myself. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.